The Chuck E. Cheese collecting community has been bigger than ever. Whether they're spending a hundred tickets on some Chuck E. Cheese rub-on tattoos, to spending thousands of dollars on walk-around costumes or animatronic parts. But when it comes to Chuck E. Cheese items, I am fascinated with the most, it would have to be plushes. The plush collecting scene has gotten more well known thanks to these videos I made, but I shouldn't take all the credit as these thousands of views just might be a coincidence and not something that revolutionized the plush scene. Anyways, the plushes are my favorite part of CEC merchandise just because the characters' iterations or appearances change over time meaning that plushes of those characters in that specific design most likely exist in one form or another. The one thing that almost all CC plushes lack is a set of all five members of Munch's make-believe band, as so far only three plush sets in existence ever had all five band members. In this video, we're going to be talking about the first and one of the only Chuck E. Cheese plush sets to have all five characters. Order and pick up your pizza from any chain as I talk about the legend of the Chuck E. Cheese 1992 plush set. As the title of the set implies, this set was released in 1992 by Showbiz Pizza Time, the company that owns Chuck E. Cheese's. Since these plushes were based on the characters from a pizza restaurant, they were available exclusively at Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza at the price counter. You would have had to win tickets to get your hand on one, or if possible, you could have paid them with cash. The characters in this set include Chucky, Pasquale, Jasper, Helen, and Munch. Pasquale and Helen were the only plushes in the set to get both small and medium sized plushes. Why the others didn't get medium plushes I'll explain later in the video. This is one of my favorite CEC plush sets and rightfully so. So let's start talking about this plush set starting with Big C. The classic Chuck E. Cheese design was still relevant in 1992 so this plush follows that iteration. While this wouldn't be the last Chuck plush to have his classic outfit, this would however be the last Chuck plush in his classic rat look. It's a pretty cool plush. While I do think it's a solid plush, it does have some flaws. For one thing, some of the plushes have easily lost their whiskers, felt buttons, and felt eyebrows, so there will be some plushes that are missing those. Also, this plush is missing his rat tail. That's an important part of Classic Chucks' character, so it's a shame that this plush doesn't have that. One thing I forgot to mention, the quality control on this specific plush can vary sometimes, especially with the stuffing of his pointy snout. Nevertheless, this is a solid plush. You might be saying that a different version of it exists, and you'd be correct. The plush's pattern was taken from an 80s plush of the character, made by Oriental Trading. The only difference is that the plastic eyes are different, and the original touch tag has the Pizza Time Theater logo in red, while the 1992 plush has the cursive Chuck E. Cheese logo in red. While not a perfect plush, it is a good plush of the character, despite its flaws. Since he's the title character, he is the most common and the cheapest in the set. Not counting the plush's condition, he'll probably cost you around $15 to $20. Here is Jasper T. Jowls from the set. Don't get me wrong, this is an excellent plush, way better than their Chucky, but the only downside to this plush is that he's based on his classic design, which is considered outdated even by 1992 standards. The Jasper that they were using looked like this, to which his plush does not resemble. Without that context, however, this is a really great plush of Classic Jasper. His pattern is quite similar to Chuck's, instead with overalls and a dog-like face. Overall, this plush is really cute, and I highly recommend it to Jasper fans all over the world. As for his value, it's pretty much identical to Big C's value. The most common and most marketable CC character in merchandising including plushes has to go to Munch. The Munch in this set is not a personal favorite of mine. The way they did his teeth is what ruins it because his monster teeth are in front of his normal teeth, which looks strange. Also, he is missing eyebrows, which is inaccurate because Munch has eyebrows. And overall, just feels like an off looking plush. While my least favorite in this set, he is just alright. Even though he rarely shows up on eBay, which explains why it's hard to put a price on this guy, I'd say he's worth around $20 to $35. Overall, I think Munch leaves something to be desired and that there are much better plushes of Munch that out there that you can get your hands on. While being one of my favorite plushes of Helen Henny, this plush does look strange at first. Can you guess what it is? It's the inclusion of visible teeth. It can look off to some younger fans and is also not accurate to her character. Another flaw this plush has is that she's missing her top hair. Despite having her fluffy pigtails, while it is off, the top can be covered off by the amount of fluff of the pigtails have as well as her single bow. Speaking of her bow, for some reason this plush only has one bow instead of the usual two. 
Everything else is basically similar to the previous plushes we've mentioned. While this plush can look off in some ways, there's another version of this plush that actually looks worse in my opinion. The only changes were that the yellow on her beak and legs are lighter, and her mouth looks about a billion times worse. Both versions have mostly the same value. Speaking of rarity, Helen Henny is one of the most common plushes in the set. The small plush can go for around $15 to $25, while the medium plushes go for around $25 to $35. Speaking of medium plushes, Pasquale and Helen are the only characters in this plush set available in the medium size. The reason as to why Chuck, Munch, and Jasper didn't get a medium version actually makes sense from a business standpoint, because apparently, the 1988 plushes of the trio were actually re-released in the 1992 set. Showbiz already released medium sized plushes of those three characters, as well as them in the large size, so instead of making new medium sized plushes to make them look more like the small plushes, they decided to just reissue their existing medium plushes instead. For evidence to support my claim, I found a photo on showbizpizza.com that shows the price counter from around that time. You can clearly tell they were selling both the 1988 and 1992 plushes around that same time. What's strange about these re-releases was that they didn't change the touch tags to have the 1992 one. The reissues have remained unchanged from their original release. Saving the best plush for last, Pasquale P. Pie Plate is the key element of this plush set. For one thing, most plush sets before and today always skip Pasquale, which is a bummer. He's a funny and loony character who cooks food and tells jokes. I can't tell you how much of a god he is, but Pasquale never has it easy with plushes, especially with ones released after 1996. But both the small and medium plushes from the 1992 set are incredible. I have already talked about both plushes in my History of Pasquale plushes video, and I even did a review on the small plush, but since he's just a marvelous plush, I think I'll talk about this plush again. While the other plushes in this set have a couple flaws, Pasquale on the other hand is 100% perfect. For one thing, he doesn't use the same pattern as the other plushes in the set. He also has a touch tag on the back rather than on the side, probably so it wouldn't get away with his apron. His apron and handkerchief can be removed by untying it, but I wouldn't recommend doing it as it can ruin the plush. His hair is a little bushy, but unlike later Pasquale plushes, he has a good amount of hair ratio. His mustache looks fantastic as well, and unlike the other plushes in the set where they have Powerpuff Girl-like hands, Pasquale actually has visible thumbs. The only flaw I can find on this plush aside from the rare occasions of quality control is that he's missing eyebrows, but the black eyelids on his plastic eyes do work as eyebrows so you probably wouldn't mind. Not only is he my favorite plush in the set, but he's also better executed than all of the animal characters combined. The good news is that he shows up on eBay a lot of times per year. The bad news is that he's the most pricey plush in the set. Expect to see a listing go for around $30 to $45 for the small plush, and the medium plush goes for around $35 to $60. Even though Pasquale plushes do show up frequently on eBay, they'll most likely get sold very quickly. I got my medium Pasquale plush for $25 at auction while I got the small Pasquale plush for $15 also at an auction. Getting this guy may not be easy nor cheap to get, but if you wait long enough to find one for a good price, then it'll all be worth it in the end. Overall, when it comes to Chuck E. Cheese plushes that have been made over the years, none of them have come close to being as supreme as the 1992 Pasquale plush. And that's the 1992 plush set. This set is unique for being one of the only CC plush sets to have all five members of Munch's make-believe band. Since Pasquale is constantly missing in most plush sets, only three plush sets in existence ever had all five characters, the set included. I'll get around to covering those sets in the future, but for now, let's finish off this video. While all except Pasquale have their flaws, this set has its charm, and the fact that it includes everyone makes this set really special. While this plush set can be overshadowed by future plushes, I don't see these old plushes losing their charm and value anytime soon.